Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I am here with the first tag video for this year and this tag video is created by one of my friends, Anilka Lyremar. She has done this tag, she tagged me, so happy for that, I love to do tags. So this tag is called My Makeup Year 2020. So it is 10 questions that is about makeup <laughs> and I'm going to try to answer them. I'm going to do my best. Don't forget to check out Angelica. I will leave her up here and down in the description. And I will also leave all the questions down in the description if you want to do this tag. But I think we just hop into this. Question number one. Brands I fell in love with this year. And I'm going to talk about brands that I tried maybe the first time in 2019, but that I really started to love last year, so 2020. And I'm going to mention two brands. The first one is Lunar Beauty. In 2019, I tested the Moonspell palette, loved it, uh, used it more 2020, loved it even more. And then I tried other things. I love their blush palette. Maybe I can show it to you, actually, instead of just talking about it. So this Moon Prism palette, Moon Prism blush palette, this is some of my favorite blushes I own. Um, I tried this this year, I love it. I've tried the Strawberry Dream palette, I love it. I have bought some. The new palette, Eternal Clips, haven't tried it yet, but Lunar Beauty was a brand that I fell in love with in 2020. And the other brand I want to talk about is Lethal. I tried Lethal, I think I both tried Lethal and Lunar Beauty in the end of 2019, but Lethal, I have bought so many things from them now, uh, last year, 2020, and I love their eyeshadow. They are some of my absolute favorite eyeshadows. I also have tried their lipstick and their face products 2020 and I just fell in love with them. I love them so much. So lethal. I really liked them the first time I tried them. 2019. But 2020 I fell in love with them. I want to own everything and I love their, sorry, their liquid lipstick, the bullet lipsticks, their highlighter, their blushes. So yeah, Lethal and Lunar Beauty I fell in love with. Question number two. Brands I broke up with this year and I actually don't know if there is any brand that I stopped using last year. I don't think it is and there is no brand that I like stopped supporting or maybe did I stop support Jeffree Star completely last year? Maybe I did. I have used some of his lipsticks but when the shit hit the fan like for the five millionth time I decided to not use his lipstick more on my channel and it has to be last year. Um, so maybe that, but we didn't have a relationship. I just love the lipsticks, but yeah, maybe a free star. Because I don't think it's anything else that I stopped using last year. No. Question number three. Makeup product or products I was happy I didn't buy. And um, it is one palette that comes to mind like that for me. And that is a melt. A420. I really, 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 really wanted this palette. It is my color story. I hate the theme, but uh, it's my color story. It's grungy, it's dark, it's light, it's got some really cool, unique colors, and uh, yeah. But um, I decided to <laughs> check some uh, reviews on it first. And that was good because like all people I've seen used it hate it and uh, that is not an um, affordable palette if we say it like that it's a really expensive palette and it feels like hits and misses with melt all the time 
So I really really wanted it because of the color story, but after seeing bad review after bad review, I was like, okay, I'm not buying it and I'm so happy that I didn't. I actually did a duping video on that one, so I can leave it up here. I'm so happy with the dupes I did, and I'm so happy that I didn't buy the 420. So question number four is makeup products I was happy... Why am I so bad at this? Makeup products I was happy I bought, and uh, I can show you. I am so happy that I bought five of the Sweet Shop palettes from BH Cosmetics. These are the first eyeshadow palettes I tried from BH, and I just love these. I try to figure out which ones, which one is my favorite. I don't know, it might be the green pistachio, but I don't know. It looks like this. I have done one really long first impression with these. These are just amazing and the thing that I really love is all have... Why am I doing it hard for myself? Um, the thing I really love is all have eight colors and four in the bottom is mattes and these are shimmers. I just, I love that and it's the same in all of the palettes. So yeah, these I'm so happy that I bought. I don't know if these are still available. These were a limited edition this summer. They came back now in... They came back in December. I don't know if they're still available, but if they are, buy one that you like the color scheme from and you're going to be so happy. These are amazing. So I'm so, so happy that I bought these. I think that is like the only limited edition things. No, I need to talk about these ones as well. I'm also so happy that I bought the Melt and Bill Use palettes. I love Beetlejuice, it's one of my favorite movies and has been since I was, um, I guess, too young to watch that movie, but yeah. Um, so this is the, my favorite from the Beetlejuice collection with Melt. This is the Recently Deceased. Love this palette, it is so co cool and it's typical me and Beetlejuice. And the other one is The Waiting Room. It looks like this. I like it. It's not my favorite, but yeah, I'm so happy that I bought these. Mostly because I love being used, but also the palettes are good. Okay, so this question I thought was pretty hard. Um, number five, overhyped makeup releases 2020. And I try to like think back of uh, yeah last year and I like what even happened? The chitty year. Um, does my lipstick look a little bit wonky? Um, I don't know what I think was most overhyped because it feels like I think <laughs> so much is overhyped. Maybe I can take, I don't know if this was so hyped, but I, I, I didn't get it and people went crazy. The Valhalla, Valhalla palette, Valhalla? palette from U.S. Place. I love U.S. Place because they have small palettes. This is so big and it has pressed glitters and people were like crazy about this. I don't get why. This is a U.S. Place palette that I don't want. I do not want this. Mostly because it's big. So I, I, I think it's overhyped. I don't know if it was that hyped but it was overhyped. Question number six, worth the hype 2020. And I have to say the Sweet Shop palettes from BH, these are amazing. Um, so, so good. And I don't know if I have tested anything else. These are so, so good. They are worth all the hype that they got. And I think it's fun the BH that is like an affordable brand that I look at it like a beginner brand and then they did this sweet shop and people went crazy and I went crazy as well and I understand hype so so much so the 
those are worth the hype, 100%. Question number seven, best new indie brand 2020. And I am going to take a brand that is new to me, that I tried first time last year, or 2020, this is, this is hard. Um, <laughs> I always think it's hard like the first couple of months of a new year. Maybe I am stupid, I know. But okay, the I'm going to take the brand that like was new to me, that was a new in brand that I tried, that this brand is not, it's older than a year, but I'm going to say Nomad. I have two palettes and uh, this is what I have on my eyes today, the Orient Express, and the palette that I actually tried last year. Uh, is the Tokyo Haruko. I wasn't a super big fan of this palette, but this is like a companion palette, I think. Um, some of these pastels are amazing and like these multichromes are so, so good. And uh, yeah, this was a new brand I really, really liked to test out and uh, Okay, I like this palette. It's just, you can check my free looks one palette when I do review on this. Um, I like it, but it is a little bit different from my other palettes. But I really wanted to test more from Nomad after I tried this. So I'm going to say Nomad on best in the brand, even though they didn't... They aren't from 2020, but I tried them the first time in 2020. I think that was like the only new brand I tried last year. Could it be? Maybe. Question number eight. The worst release 2020. And uh, it has been a lot of shit. But one palette that I just... I'm so angry at... <laughs> And this might surprise you because this is a really neutral palette, but Anastasia Beverly Hills, they each and every year comes out with a, a holiday release. And I bought the Prism when that was a holiday release. I love that palette. I think it's really unique. And I'm always like a little bit intrigued when the holiday come and get to see Anastasia Beverly Hills new palette and uh, this or 2020 they released announced their holiday release and it was a mini version of soft glam i love soft glam it's like my favorite neutral palette but why do you release a mini palette with a palette that is like two years old i, I don't get it i don't know who thought that was a good idea. And it's not like that affordable that you just add some money and you get like a full palette. I I don't get it. Are they going to do like minis of all their palettes now? Okay, maybe. It's cheaper, it's smaller. Maybe somebody don't want 14 pants, but like I guess that pretty many bought the Soft Glam and everybody that did buy Soft Glam is not going to buy the Mini. It was a super release. I, I'm i just no, 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 no. So question number nine. One thing I don't want to see in 2021. I did a video about things I want to see and don't want to see next year. I can leave it up here. But one thing that I absolutely don't want is glitter in palettes. I think Angelica said the same thing, but... No. And also, if I'm not mistaken, it was a little while since I saw Angelica's video. But... Like Nabla... When they do glitters, they do it in a separate quad. That is really good because I don't want that pressed glitter in my palette. So I don't want to see that 2021. If you want as a brand to release pressed glitters, 
do it, but do it like seldom in singles or something because I don't want it in my palette. Okay, and the last question, question number 10. One thing I do want to see more in 2021 and I would like to see a lot more in <laughs> 2021. Um, one thing I really want that I thought about today when I did this makeup look, I want some darker colors in palettes. Not necessarily a black shadow, but just something darker. I like some depth, depth in my looks and with some palettes I just can't get it. Then I have to take in another, maybe a black single shadow or another darker single shadow. But I like to see darker and deeper colors in palettes that I would love to see more of. And uh, a lot of other things, but I don't want to, ha I want to keep this pretty short. I don't know if this, if I succeed to keep this pretty short, but pretty short at least. So yeah, that was all the question and thank you Angelica for a really fun tag. So I really hope you liked this video and as you hear, I, I've been sick. I'm not, like my voice is not back to normal yet so I'm sorry for that and I'm trying to cut out all the noises I make <clears throat> but thank you Nielke for doing a really fun tag it's always fun to talk about makeup and don't forget to check Angelica out I will leave all her info down in the description and if you have a makeup channel and you want to do this tag do it and I think it's always fun to hear what people have think about like last year. Maybe something that I hate, you love, I don't know. It's always fun to hear that. And uh, yeah, that was all for this video. I really hoped you liked it. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!